Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating burning text effect animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. And we are going to be doing this right inside the edit page. We will not touch the fusion page except for one little modification. And this will also work with a PNG image. So yeah, I'll stick around. I'll show you how you will do that. So let's get started. We're going to type in our text so just search for text over here and start typing your text and just make changes to it make it look nice and even make it look big if you want to once you are done we can move to the next step which is to create a transition we want to burn or fade away this text for that we need to create a transition so let's just right click timeline create a new timeline and we're going to call this solid this is going to hold a simple solid color. So if I search for solid color and drag that in, so this is set to black for now, but if I change the color, you can see that it's actually working. So I'm going to set this to black and click on okay. And now we can use this uh, solid, which is now a compound clip. We can use this to create our transition. So I'm going to create another timeline and I'm going to call this uh, transition, click on create. And I'm going to drag this solid uh, onto the layer over here. All right. So actually, let's just move this to a new track. And um, because we want to see what we are doing over here. So I'm going to copy this uh, text and put it under the solid comp over here. Now we can, we'll be able to see what we are doing with this text. So if I disable the solid comp, this is which is at the top. I can see the text under it. So on this um, solid comp, what we are going to do is, uh, or compound clip, what you're going to do is we're going to apply two effects to this. First one will be noise distortion. The second one will be the shape circle effect. So drag and drop it. And we're going to make sure that the shape circle is on top. Now, if you make changes in the noise distortion, these changes will be applied to the shape circle as well. So let's just make changes in the noise distortion first. I'm going to crank up the detail and the size and also let's just animate it. So let's just increase the seat rate to 0.1 and that should be it. So if I play this, this is how it's going to look. Now let's create a transition, a reveal transition. We will do that in the shape layer. Go to the very first frame and create a keyframe on size. Set that to zero and move to maybe like three seconds in time and increase it so that we have this white color over here. If you play the animation, this is how it's going to look. Now, the next important step is the soft edge. So just increase the soft edge a little bit. So the next thing is we want to make sure that this text is visible. So the way we do that is by creating a sort of an alpha mat. And the way we do that is by going to the video. And we set the composite mode and set this to foreground. And then our text, select that, go to setting and set the composite mode to alpha so now we have this kind of alpha mat over here and uh, just look at that it just reveals our text but we don't want this animation we don't want to reveal our text we want to fade it away right it's kind of burning away to do this it's quite simple just go back to effects in your video track 2 in the solid compound clip we apply the shape circle and we have to just simply click on this invert checkbox and now we will just create this fade away or the burning away of our text pretty cool right so now let's go back to our timeline one which we can also rename this to main and here what we will do is we can actually get rid of this uh, text over here and drag in our transition compound clip and here we have the text in with the uh, transition now we want to change the color over here now, if you are using DaVinci Resolve Studio, we have this false color. So if I drag and drop it, you can actually see how it looks. And uh, if I change the plugin mode to creative, I can create some really cool. Uh, there are some cool presets over here, which you can definitely check out. I kind of like the night vision one or even the thermal one it looks pretty cool. And if I set the color of the yellow over here and make it white, I can get that text back. You can see that we have this really cool transition. If you're using free version, then what you can do is we can apply a 
night vision drag and drop it and you can see we have the color but we have these pixelated uh, squares over here if i change the frequency and set this to zero it will still be there so this is where we are going into the fusion and uh, this is just really simple if you go to fusion we don't have to add any nodes or anything we just have to delete one node double click on this night vision and we have to delete this mosaic blur which is responsible for this pixelation or these um, square shapes delete both of these mosaic blurs and you should be good to go um, we are only left with this color over here which you can of course change it to any color that you want so let's just increase the gain you can change the lift and all that stuff right over here but once you are happy you can definitely play it and see how it looks and if you want to have some delay in the animation you can see that it starts right from the very first second if you want to have a bit delay all you have to do is just go to this transition layer or the transition compound clip and just squish this uh, layer which is at the top to any um, second that you want and now you have some hold in the beginning and then you will transition will begin that is super cool right that's basically it all you have to do next is just simply you can add track on top and add in an adjustment clip you can just stylize it any way that you want for example um, you can add in a comic book effect drag and drop it and you can set the angle to zero and increase the image scale and then you can reduce the inner frame graphic and increase the wobble strength and you have this uh, hand-drawn kind of effect inside of your animation which looks pretty cool i'm going to just kind of get rid of this because this is a little bit of heavy effect and you can apply glows to this anything that you want the next thing you can do is you can add overlays to this i have this fire particle overlay i got this from ae juice uh, pack manager which is a free tool to download so you can check that out the link will be in the description so if i drag that in and drag and drop it on top um, and change the blend more or the composite mode to add you can see the particles along with the text animation and now all we have to do is match uh, the particles make sure that it has the same size as this uh, as this um transition we have over here in the shape circle so i can actually copy it copy the effect from there and go back to my main composite right click on the overlay right click paste attributes and i'm going to paste in fusion effects click on apply and we will get rid of the noise distortion and we are gonna use shape circle over here and here we just want to use apply uh, as mask option and uncheck the invert option maybe that should not be there but let's just see yeah there we have it uh, but as you can see the timing is not correct with this so we need to figure that out so let's just double click on the size to reset it and let's just do this again so i'm going to go to the very first frame of this clip of this overlay clip create a keyframe on size and as you can see it's even though the size is zero but we can still see the particles maybe this is some sort of a bug but we can just start with a very small value which is 0 0.001 and that should get rid of the particles there and let's go to the end of our animation which is right about here and increase the size something like that and kind of match it with the text length and once you do that you will end up with something like this which is pretty cool now you can see that there are particles that are going like kind of way over here at the top and at the bottom so let's just control that i want to restrict the particles the movement of the particles we can simply do that by going into the video over here and in the cropping we will crop the top and the bottom and we will increase the softness quite a bit and let's just do that even more so now if you take a look at it this is how it's going to look pretty cool and we'll just fade that out as well yeah, you can uh, of course change the parameters according to your needs if you have a larger text you may you might want to change change the settings to make it make it look nice but yeah that is pretty much it you can finally top it off with this fire sound effects again these are available in a juice pack manager 
uh, which I would put a link to it in the description if you want to go ahead and use that link. I'll also get a small commission out of it, which will ultimately help this channel. So yeah, let's go ahead and play this animation. Next thing is we want to see how we can change the text to something else, maybe a graphic over here. So all you have to do is go to this transition layer. Instead of a text, you have to use an image. So here I have an Adidas logo, drag and drop it. And it's set to the color is black. That's why you're not able to see it. But I can change the color by adding a color generator to this. And this will change the color to white. And let's go to video over here and I'm going to change the zoom, make it kind of small like this. Now, if I go back to my main animation, you should see something like this. And the reason for this is because we have to again change the composite mode of this uh, logo over here. The top, the layer at the top, the composite mode is fine. It's set to foreground, but the one at the bottom, it's changed to normal. So we have to again set this to alpha. So if I go back to main comp, I can see that we have the same animation on the on the logo as well. And there you have it. As you can see, the particles are not quite matching uh, with the footage we have over here. Uh, but as I said earlier, you have to crop it. So let's just do that. Crop left and crop right it matches with the footage over here or with the text or the graphic we have over here. So that is pretty much it. That's how you can create this uh, simple text burning animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.